So maybe let's continue and let's do some materials. Let's hide all the stuff that we have. Let's hide the grid. Let's make a new material. Let's make a sphere. Let's center our object on it. Let's make it a polygon. Some frequency. And let's start doing some material work on this sphere. So let's first turn on tessellation so it's a more smoother sphere. And let's go into material and type redshift material builder. Go in there. Let's add a material. Let's add it to the surface. And let's just assign it over here. Call it maybe mat one. All right, let's start building some materials. So, so a bunch of stuff that you can do in here. So, let's maybe add a noise. So, uh, Redshift Tree has maxwell noises. There was like uh, original, just regular factor, uh, like original noises, but the maxwell noises are are quite nice. So, these are two D noises, which means we need to do if we don't have UV. And we don't have a UV on this thing. We need to do a triplanar map. I think by default they do triplanar here. And we're tri triplanar is what we're going to use all over the place. I already explained that a little bit. So what triplanar will do is project UVs from, from three sides and then blend them together. And by default, I think this thing does it by default. If you want to do it yourself, you can type triplanar, plug it in. And I'm, let's plug it into the color. Now you can see we get a noise. Let's turn off the bucket rendering. But I think it does it, it does try planar by default if I don't have UVs. So you can see this also works. So these Maxwell noises are quite nice. They have, uh, yeah, well, they have a whole bunch of stuff going on. So, like, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different noise types. So we could, like, change some stuff. So this already looks pretty cool. You could add some colors. You could say that uh, maybe I want to do uh, red and I want to do like blue and then go in here and do like more contrast. So now it's like a weird bowling ball thing. We can do more interesting things, right? All right, let's do something else. Let's do Fresnel. So Fresnel, We'll basically do a dot product from, uh, and I already explained what dot product is, but it will basically project a ray from the camera and then do a dot product. And then you, so you kind of get like a fall off uh, effect. So let, let me just show you what it does. Let's put it into the base color and let's turn off index of refraction for now. All right. So as you can see is now I get one color facing the camera another color, other thing facing away from the camera. That's quite interesting. I could also put this in reflection, right? I could say reflection weight or yeah, reflection color. So now I don't get any reflection in the camera, but I do get reflection going away from the camera. And that's cool. So maybe let's just, just use it for a color instead of something else. So let's say, okay, maybe I want, I want a, uh, Blue thing, perpendicular color, let's do red. All right, so now we got blue reddish thing. And now maybe, let me just do something more interesting. So we had this noise, but we can also do this noise. Uh, like remember when we did, did the fobs, we used that to add stuff to our, uh, like to the, to the detail of our object. Well, we can also do that at render time. So if we have redshift displacement, Let's put that into displacement map. And what we can do in here is put a texture in here. So let's do a, uh, not, do, not do a texture. By the way, you can also do a texture like that. So a texture would take a take an image texture. So I could, uh, I, will, I will show that later. But let's first now do a, uh, a noise. So maximum noise. Put it in there. Nothing happens. 
because we need to enable displacement. So let's go to the sphere. Object and enable displacement. And oh, what happens now? It explodes. So that's displacement. And we have some control here on the shader or we can do it over here. So that's cool. So I just quickly tried this and in the uh, 2.6 version, there's no Maxwell noises. So let me just like show you the regular one. So there's also regular uh, red shift noises. So you can also just plug those in. And those also just have a whole bunch of uh, stuff. So you can uh, so just change parameters in there and do all of the other stuff that I showed with the Maxwell noises. But what they don't have is, um, yeah, like a lot of the presets that the Maxwell noises have. And the Maxwell noises really have like a lot of nice stuff built in. But just so you know, if you're on the demo, you can use these noises instead and just play around with the parameters so you, till you get something you like. So you can go to noise, you can make turbulent noise, you can make cellular noise, and you can, uh, yeah, let me just see. Like I don't really use, haven't, you, haven't used these in a while. So you can just like, really, just play around with, uh, you know, like with a lot of the stuff here and just until you get something that you sort of like. And again, you can also put those into displacement. Like I could put this in displacement and I could turn on displacement. And it will also just work. So don't worry if you're on the demo, you can also use these noises. It will just be uh, maybe a little bit more work until get to get something like that you kind of like the look of. But uh, it's so possible. I mean, the Maxwell noises are quite, uh, like super new. They only introduced them very recently. So open like before that, you either had to do this, or you had to use regular textures. And regular textures, of course, you can use them by just typing texture. You get a redshift texture, and you can just load a texture in here and then just use triplanar to sort of map it on there. So I just wanted to like put a quick video in between the recordings. So if you're on the demo, use this instead. So that's looking pretty dope already. I and mean, you can you can change all of your other stuff here as well. You could like do a uh, so let's put it like that. And you also have other stuff. You could uh, you could also factor mix. So it's it's very similar to VOP. So you could factor mix in some stuff. So you could say I do a color. Let's take a green. And I could mix a little bit between these two. So. Anyway, so that's that's some, somewhat what like shader building is like. So let's go over some some other parameters uh, before we get too much into this. Let's do another material. Right, let's plug it in. Right. So there's these things here. So we have diffuse. That's basically the intensity of the diffuse colors. And right now it's set to sort of grayish. So if I turn it all, all the way down, it will be black. If you want to do, uh, so, okay, so let's say we want to do something re refractive like glass, you would increase the refraction. So you would increase the refraction. And now we get a sort of a glass or of a glass type materials. So let's put this more like this. So we have some more uh, screen real estate to work at. So we have some stuff like the roughness. So if I increase the roughness, See, I could now get a rough reflection, some more like eyes or something. I could, of course, change this with a noise. So I could also say that I want the, the refraction, where is it? Refraction roughness, I would want it to be based on a noise. So let's do another type of noise. Oh, we need to put it, sorry, we need to put it in the refraction color. Yep, there we go. So let's make it color a little bit and change the noise type maybe. 
So now the ref now the roughness now the uh, refraction color is always how much it will refract, but depends on the color. Let's put it back in the roughness. So let's change the scale. We also probably if we also put it in the reflection roughness. We're gonna see. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So you can see right now. So this is already looking a bit more interesting. So you can use these noises. And you can use you can use textures as well to sort of drive. So if you just type texture, type texture, you can put an image in here and then put it in there. And you need UVs if you want to do this. Uh, well, on the, like uh, well, in some some cases you need UVs, or you could just try planar. So in general, you. Like if you don't have UVs, you need to use Triplayer, and that's what we're gonna be using a lot, uh, a lot as well. So let's if we turn off the fraction and then turn off the uh, diffuse color again. Turn off the reflection weight. We'd also say that we want the reflection weight to be influenced by the noise. Ah, you don't really see that much difference. I'm just going to undo some stuff. But again, you can use all of these stuff in textures and noises to sort of make interesting, uh, interesting things. And again, you can add displacement to this stuff. We're not, not going to go too much into all of this stuff but like there's a whole bunch of things you can do in here we're gonna get more into this when we start shading our actual objects so let's uh change our noise let's change the scale So this looks quite cool, right? You would probably need some more subdivisions on your object. So you could say that you want to uh, turn down the minimum edge length, turn up the subdivisions. Well, that's looking pretty cool already. So anyway, That's basics for materials. Now let's see how we can sort of render out the image.